Hey guys, it's your boy Vee back with more Marvel Featurebyte content and today we are talking about the female villain ABX for the burn season. Now I have already made one of the videos for Mystique for the burn season but I have not done that for Moonstone and this video is going to be featuring mainly Moonstone but there are going to be two different team up that I will be showing you guys and two different play styles I should say with two different team ups of course. Uh, so whichever works best for you definitely you can choose them and that right now for the burn season moonstone does have burn on the awakened skill but this is not reliable this is not reliable at all and if you want to maximize your scores you will have to cancel with mystique because mystique on third skill has the burn where you got uh, need to actually get hit which i showed you in the build uh, in other in the past video anyways let's look at the uh, the builds and stuff like that then we'll go to the run and then i will explain how exactly you should be working both the uh, both the team ups right so for Mystique, everything is maxed out, by the way, 53% critical rate, but it will get maxed out with the fourth skill, 129 attack speed. I got six Odin's Blessings on my Mystique, the critical damage rolled for the fourth gear, all skills level six, power of Angry Hulk stage 12, and the 50% discount is on, by the way, guys, if you want to change some of your character ISOs, do it right now. With a CTP average, of course, she does not have any uniform. Now looking for Moonstone, what is the leadership? Okay, so dodge, it's so BR basically running with 6% less uh, extra dodge actually. So a Moonstone, if we did not have that 6%, we'll still actually cap out that dodge, which is great. Critical rate is 57, which will get capped out with the skills. And I'm missing 8% of critical damage and some attack speed as well. Right, I got two Odin's Blessings on my Moonstone. Maybe I'll give her uh, some more in the long run. Critical damage roll for this one. All skills are level 6, of course. Then Power of Angry Hulk again. And with a CTP of Rage. And she does not have any uniform. For the cards, let me show you my physical and energy attack. My physical attack is 60% physical attack plus the proc. Which uh, ends up getting me about 62 to 63% physical attack in total. Depending on, the, depending, on the, depending on the times that it actually fires. And the energy attack that I have is is 81.3 percent anyways enough said let's move on to the runs so the first run that i am actually gonna showing you is actually gonna be the switch play so we'll switch to mystique of uh sorry moonstone use the rotation of course five four six three and then switch to mystique right now three five four let it run now for this to work properly you will have to have both the characters uh, uh built up of course and of course you i have already as i said before as well i've already posted the mystique video already so you can go and check it out although i'm not really a fan of uh, uh like this is an interesting technique and we have been doing it a lot but not with moonstone of course moonstone is the strongest of them all basically of all the awakened characters that we have in the game right now that can uh, do crazy things solo right so moonstone uh, I think even with the normal 5-3 rotation, will do more than uh, Mystique. So, I'm not really sure if that's actually worth it. But, use a third skill, get hit, cancel the rover. So, yes, we have discussed that already in the, uh, in the Mystique video that we did before. So, yes, you can actually go back to that as well. It's really easy. To do that, uh, actually, if you have enough mobs around, it can be a pain uh, if you don't have mobs around, although. Uh, and also, if you, like, get so much, so damn unlucky, right? <laughs> so, that does hurt, that does hurt. Anyways, we are doing great uh, right now, but the reason why I do not really like this, and of course, I had to do that because you double jumped. So, I'm not switching to Mystique. And the reason why I'm not switching to Mystique right now is simple because if I switch to Mystique, she would clear all the mobs. Use the third skill right there. She will uh, clear all the mobs and it's game over. It's game over. You just cannot cancel the roar. And that once happened to me. And actually, it actually happened to me a lot while recording that Mystique solo run in that in the last video, in the previous video. So I know I don't really want to play that and I might try to maximize my scores. Although, I do think, guys, that this team up and this combo that we are using, of course, you can use this to just try your, your uh, Moonstone and Mystique because it also gives 35% uh, all attack from Victorious to Mystique, which helps a lot mystique but although i do think but guys that uh, okay I, man i should have used the whoa wow this sucks oh my god 
So what I'm saying, what I want to say about this team up is I think this team up could be the best for Moonstone if you have a CTP of energy. The reason why I say that it's very, very simple is that because CTP of energy on the second rotation will always trigger your proc, right? Unless there is nothing like uh, on maybe for the first time or something like that. If the beast is, and nobody's there for the last awakened skill, it would basically uh, uh, activate your proc. And this is not the best one, by the way. This is not the best one. I only got seven. I can get up to 7.3. Around that number, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more depending on the run. Now the second run is going to be Hella Lead, Mystique and Moonstone of course. And this is going to be all simple Moonstone show. And you will see the, I know the, the proc was very bad. We only made like 50k more than what we had before. So the inside and the 45, 10% more attack here actually did not work. And yes. Proc can screw you up and it has always been like that. It always screws you up whenever you try uh, your best and stuff like that. So it's okay. Uh, it's not the best run. These are not the best run. And I my motive in this video was not to actually show you the best runs. Because of course we can try hours. We can try a few more runs to get that. But at least for now, as long as we can hit 7 million, at least yes, the ABX changes are coming. So we don't know yet that the cap is going up or maybe and now we'll have to switch to mystique now so of course we'll do the same thing as he jumps as he goes there third skill get hit get that burn again i like to go four cancel six and then five because we just don't have time enough enough time to switch to and as soon as mystique comes uh moonstone comes out i like to switch to moonstone because moonstone does tremendous amount of damage even without that awakened skill which will help you a lot carrying uh, carrying your scores up, getting those scores up. So I don't really like switching to Mystique, especially while playing someone like Moonstone, who's like super powerful. But yes, we have to for the burn season. And there is no better characters than, uh, than Mystique to actually cancel with. Yes, you can use Minerva. Uh, as well if you have Minerva uh, but you will lose either the leadership from Hela or someone or you will actually lose the the support from Mystique which you really don't want to right so again you can try both the things of course the the Minerva cancel will be for people who do not have Mystique but at this point I think people should have Mystique even if you don't have Awakened Mystique that's okay and wow the proc was so late man so even if you don't have uh, Awakened or Transcendent Mystique you will you will still cancel the roar using the third skill because you don't really need the awakened skill to cancel with the third skill right so anyways okay we got ourselves uh, guard broken which is not good not a fan of guard break immunity uh, guard breaks at all but we will be switching to mystique right mm, okay 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 he's doing one more attack yay and i wanted to switch right oh my god one just one dude hit me <laughs> we got it <laughs> oh my god oh this is this was crazy i did not think that was gonna happen dude that was one mob so again as i said like if your luck supports you if the rng supports you you have this you got this guys <laughs> oh my god oh boy that was funny that was funny that was nice man we finally got it so really good score so you can choose your the teams really well but both works great so yeah so both the team ups are actually usable depending on uh, who you are using. And if you don't have Moonstone that crazy build or that amazingly built, you can also use a second team up with actually Victorious, of course, the Victorious lead, uh, which actually gives you 35% all attack to both of your characters. So if you want to do that switch play, although I don't, I'm not really a fan of that switch play. I, as I said before, uh, during the run as well, I think the switch play could be the best for this day if you have a CTP of energy on your on your moonstone otherwise I do think if you have a CTP of rage on your moonstone just like me I think solo run with this team up would be better because you are not really gonna be uh, switched to mystique a lot you're just gonna be switching for like what eight seconds basically of damage after that uh, blast is done so that's basically about 24 seconds so 24 seconds do you really want to cut out 10% attack from the moonstone and probably if you have Hela with insight for this day and universal villain, that's another uh, insider as well. So do you really want to cut out all that attack from your moonstone? 
and I do think that I think uh, you know CDP of energy maybe you can try this team up if this works well and you can also try this team up so anyways guys try these both the teams and let me know what you think about the video let me know what you think about the runs and if these uh, score these teams help you guys definitely kudos to you guys and of course if you do enjoy the content give me a like on this video it really helps me out subscribe if you're new to the channel and as always if you like the content i hope to see you again take care i'll see you all in the next one bye bye